Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial. It's Daniel Blake here, and um, I've had a few people asking me how um, uh, the, well, the quickest way or the easiest way to get a mirror ball on the bottom, or to actually just simply replace the feet of your tripod on the bottom. Um, I found a few quick and easy ways to do it, and uh, yeah, since doing a few 360s, I think this is probably the easiest ones I've found so far. So without any further ado, let's move on and try it. Um, I've got a photo here, the original one. Drag that into Photoshop. Here we are. Now a few little things to look for. This was me testing out some new equipment when I was on holidays in France, and I was just using a, uh, I'm using a D800 with a 10.5 mil fisheye that's been shaved, and um, I noticed there's some terrible chromatic aberration that happens with the lens. So here you can see it on here. It's like a, a long pink or purple line on one side and you've got this green line that happens on the other side and it's also happening in the clouds as well so if you zoom into the clouds you'll see there's a purple line that's happening here the easiest way Photoshop can get rid of that after the fact so after you've processed all the photos together the easiest way to get rid of that is Control shift a and this will bring in uh, Adobe Camera Raw and here you can change all your things. If you want to see what's overexposed, underexposed, obviously you can go through and change your exposure again and your contrast and all that kind of stuff. So um, really good thing to note about ACR is you can fix a lot of the uh, lens problems that you get. So for instance, this is the horrible purple line. We go up here into the lens corrections and uh, we'll just drag this purple amount out just a little bit until it disappears. That's one of it gone. The other part's this green line here, which we'll just slightly move out till we don't see it anymore. And voila, it's gone. Purple could go a little bit further, I think. Yep, and we're done. That's easily fixed. Okay, so this is what most people see when they take a 360 degree photograph. They've got this sort of this blurry, can't even speak today. They've got this blurry sort of part of the bottom of the tripod or the bottom of the head that they've been using to take photographs. Um, there's a bunch of ways to do it. The easiest way, by far, the easiest way to do it is basically to duplicate the layer. So Control J in Photoshop gives you another layer here on top of your original background. Control T, and that basically uh, allows you to transform, so to resize and all that kind of stuff. Control T and then basically I'm gonna move it 180 degrees. So with Shift makes it a bit easier. Voila, now it's upside down. Now the easiest way that I found to remove this, sorry, I'm trying to look at my keyboard through the other side of a microphone. It's actually pretty tricky. It's a new microphone and it's, uh, it's quite sensitive. All right, so what I'm gonna do is use the marquee tool, the M tool to select over the part that I wanna remove. It's gone. Control D to deselect. Control T again for transform. And I'm just gonna drag that down. Now this looks crazy at the moment, but all I wanna do is just cover up this bottom part Voila, it's gone. And then we're gonna have a look at this and see how it looks for now as, as the first step. So I'll just save this as test, JPEG, yes, that'll do. And then I'm gonna open it with PT GUI Viewer, drag it in so you guys can see what I'm looking at. All right, so here's the photo here. Hopefully we have a mirror ball. So now you might see a problem. Here is the tank, and here is the tank. That makes sense. But the tank is facing to the left with the barrel on this one, and the tank is facing to the right with the barrel on this one. So something is wrong. Not to mention, obviously, we've got this issue here with the, the camera and the, the uh, tripod uh, sort of sticking out, but we can get to that in a sec. So um, the quickest, easiest way to get back to this, just close this out. You wanna flip this the other way around, this particular layer here. Image, image rotation, Flip horizontal, oh, edit, transform, flip horizontal, sorry, telling you lies. And basically, I'm gonna save it again, test. Do I wanna replace? Yes, that's fine. Open it up again. Oh, drag it in. Now, when we look at it, you'll find the tank is now facing the correct way. So tank, with the barrel to the left, tank with the barrel to the left, 
Nice and easy done. Right, so now we've got some other issues. So we can hide and show this layer just with the eyeball here. So we'll get rid of him and just click on the background and have a look. So we've got this issue here. Now, there's a few ways you could do this. The easiest way now would just be to use like a, a stamp tool or a clone tool or something like that and just basically paint back in the, the part that you want to cover up. Um, obviously, you can spend as much or as little time doing this as you want. Um, Adobe's content aware feel is absolutely amazing. Um, but what you're going to find is because it radiates out from one point, it's going to be really hard to get a source image for the for this part here. I'll just put this back on so we can see it. We've still got this happening here. What I might do is just drop a little bit of content aware, see if that fills in from Photoshop. Yeah, look, it's not too bad for the for the sake of this particular tutorial. Right. Add a bit more detail in there, a bit more detail in there. Cool. Right, let's save this again. Test. Overwrite. Yep. Open it up again in PT Viewy. PT, PT Viewy. Voila. Okay, so it's gone. So you've got this joining issue here that happened obviously with the stitch. And basically we've got a little mirror ball here. We want to make it a little bit more interesting. We can add a shadow or something like that to it, which is pretty easy. Oh, that just decided to play. It's good when things like that happen in the background when you're trying to uh, make a video. Right, so what program are we in? All right, back to Photoshop. So if we want to add a little shadow around this, the easiest way I found is to duplicate this layer Control click it, fill it with black, not white, drop it underneath. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there for a sec. Drag it up, now you can see there's a black line. What we want to do is basically feather that, so I'm going to control click here, right click with the selection tool, feather, 50, invert my selection, voila. Move it up, we can have it as big or as small as we want. Save that as test again. Open it up and see what it looks like. All right. Now, so you can see it's very, very dark. So if you wanted to change that, we just have to change the opacity of the layer. So obviously the layer is here, but we can drop that opacity right down if we want, just so it's a little bit less obvious. Again, test. Make it a bit smaller now so it saves a bit quicker. Oh, not 98. How about 8? Cool. Much quicker. Save with PTGUI. Open with PTGUI and voila. So we've got a bit of a shadow here which makes it look a little bit more realistic. If we want to get rid of the mirror ball altogether and we just want to clone out the feet, there's another technique you can use called polar coordinates. Um, this, this is starting to annoy me here, the sky. Let me just clone this out. That plus that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that too. Right. Voila. Looks a lot better already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So, if we want to get rid of this area altogether, and we just want to basically have nothing, just the pavement that was there to start with, all we got to do, we'll get rid of these first two layers because they're the mirror ball is you want to select the whole layer. So Control A, Control C, and Control N to open a new document. Now the width is 11,012 pixels, the height is 5506, so we're going to change that to 11,012. So it's got to be the same as the width. This is very important because when the, the polar coordinates filter works, if it's not a square document, it will actually distort it. Instead of being a perfect sphere, it'll be sort of a, a, a squished circle. Um, and it, it just doesn't look any good at all. Right, so paste it on there. Control T for transform. Turn it upside down, drag it to the top, very important. Um, I actually made an action for this a few months ago, but um, a Photoshop catastrophe happened and I lost all my actions, which was sad. Anyway, we go over to filter, distort, polar coordinates, and you want the first one, rectangular to polar. You can see here if you zoom out, we're looking at the bottom of the tripod. Right, so 
we zoom in here and if you want to be tricky what you can do is basically just select oh no I want a round marquee tool please select around the bottom of your tripod shift to five for uh, con content aware film and voila this is obviously quick and dirty um, the more texture the more detail um, you have underneath the tripod underneath the camera is going to be harder to stitch later Another technique is to simply take a photo and stitch that in. Um, that's not the most time, uh, time efficient way of doing it, I find. Um, and most of the time, if, if you're smart about where you put your camera, you can find that you can look down and say, can I clone this quickly in Photoshop? Yes, all right, done, I'll take the photo here. And sometimes it's really simple, but sometimes you might find it's a very intricate uh, parquet floor or something like that, and the detail is far, far too intricate. Um, and then it's best just to take another photo, blend it in, and use that in your 360 degree process. Um, anyway, so you can see there was also a sort of a stitching mishap here. Now, I'm really interested to see what happens if I was just to do that with Photoshop. Yeah, it leaves this particular halo that Photoshop likes to do. Anyway, we'll leave that here. Now, the next step is really important. We're going to do it in reverse. So basically, you go to Distort, Polar Coordinates, Polar to Rectangular, which is the opposite way around. So if you zoom out, you can see basically this. You can see here by looking at the line, it's not a straight line anymore. So what's happened is, is, is Photoshop has got an equirectangular photo and it's turned into a sphere. It's distorted it that way. And what you're doing is now getting a sphere and turning it into an equirectangular photo. And all this bending of pixels will slightly reduce the quality. So the trick is, oh, I'll go back to a square marquee please, it is to take just the part that you need. So I'm going to take just up to the bottom of this... Uh, fence I guess go back to the original paste it on top you can see it's upside down so again control T flip it upside down and let it snap into place whack I'll save this as test as a JPEG would be a good idea cool open it up now what we've got is the bottom. Now it's obviously not perfect, but uh, the process is the same. Um, this also works for skies and things like that as well. Um, yeah, this is basically my quick tutorial just to help you guys out so you, you can see the easiest ways to either do a mirror ball or to, to fix the bottom of a, uh, of a 360 degree pano. Um, loving the, the photos I'm seeing from you guys posted every day, so keep it up. And um, yeah, if, if this uh, tutorial was helpful, leave a like or a comment or something like that. And um, if you've got any more ideas, I'd be happy to help out. Um, yeah, all the best and um, yeah, keep producing uh, amazing 360 degree photos that I keep seeing every day. Thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later on. Bye.